Okay. Let's see, I'll get up here. All right, well, uh, we're here with Marshall again, and uh, we're going to use Marshall for our curb siding introduction to the uh, pick me up. So this is the first first lesson that we do in the in our pick me up, but we got to make sure that uh, Marshall can do this. So what we're going to ask Marshall to do is yield his hips, just like we did on flagging on the fence. If you watched that video, this is part two of that. Is we're going to yield his hips from side to side from being uh, up in this elevated position. And I'll tell you, this can just freak the hell out of a lot of horses to, for you to be up here above their head. Now, Marshall's being lovely gentleman right now, so I love this process that you really can get a feel for what your horse is capable of. And you don't know what you have till you have it under pressure. So again, we're just gonna put Marshall under some pressure and find out what we really have with him. So. Uh, again, the uh, audible cue from Marshall. Oh boy, that wind might be a little much. Let me fix my microphone here. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, ask him to yield his hips all the way around right here. So I'm going to hold on to my lead rope if I can, and then I'm going to cluck, right? That's the uh, audible cue for move your feet. And then Marshall's got to figure out what foot, what feet to move and what direction based off of where he feels pressure. So horses want to move away from pressure. So I'm going to just set Marshall up. We're going to put the pressure over here on his right side and I want his hips to come over to this side. So I'm going to apply the pressure and as soon as he starts to move I'm going to release and uh, let him have some time you know get this licking and chewing going so we're going to get that that dopamine happening here so let's let's see where we go. Oh boy nicely done. You know I'm pretty dang sure Marshall's had this done before. There's our licking and chewing already. I mean that was just textbook perfect so uh, now I had Marshall at my place in training like two years ago. Not. It's very possible that we did. Anyway if so then we're just going to see a great uh, review or an evaluation right here. This is something that I would want to do with with a horse that you know I might be buying or a horse that I might be evaluating for another client, checking to see what's his responsive level. Is he responsive or reactive? So that was super responsive. Now let's take him back this other way. So clock means move your feet. All the way to the fence. Nope, so more pressure, more pressure, more pressure. Get over here, good boy. Licking and chewing twice already. Oh boy, look how high his head is, right? We want to get that relaxed. We want him to feel nice and comfortable with me being up here, with what his, what his responsibilities are here, with what we're doing, right? His job is to move his feet wherever there's not some pressure. Oh, there we go. Nicely done. Man, I like this horse. Oh boy, I mean, look, he just lowered his head. I'm up here above him, messing with his ears. This guy's just feeling like a million bucks. It's a little bit of a high price, but that's what he's feeling like. Oh boy. He looks like a million bucks though, doesn't he? Damn, this guy's just... When I post a picture of this guy online, I get, <laughs> we get so many more likes and comments just because of the sexy beast that he is. All right, that was fantastic. Let's go to this other side. So 
I'm just touching that outside hip. As soon as he starts moving, I'm done touching, but I'll keep clocking. Ooh, he's just gonna bring it right over here. Nicely done. Now I wanna wait for him to lick and chew, and I wanna wait for him to lower his head. Oh boy, Marshall. Notice what I'm not doing, right? I'm not up here patting. That's, that's a man thing. That's, that's a human thing. It's not rewarding. It doesn't feel good. It's not relaxing to your horse, right? Nice, gentle, easy strokes with the direction of the hair, nice and soft. That's all he needs to feel is that everything is just pleasant and soft. You know, when you're at a boy in and, and patting your horse like that, it just, it just, sorry, it just pumps them up. Oh boy. I mean, you know, we give high fives and smacks on the back and pats on the butt and you know, that's all human stuff. It's not horse stuff. You don't see horses running over to each other and like head butting them on the side and, you know, <laughs> giving them a big pat or something. It's just, it's not what they do. It's not their behavior. Oh boy. I just wait and I want him to I want him to lower his head and just relax right here as much as he can. So I'm just watching his breathing. He just had kind of a big breath right there. Oh boy. So again, this is, uh, this is a great example of the finished product. This isn't a good example of the how-to. So if you're, if you're wanting your horse to be like this, you're gonna need to go watch another uh, curbside video because this isn't gonna be a lot of teaching because this guy's got it. I mean, he's, he's just smooth and comfortable with it. Ooh, there's our big breath. Come on, you lick and chew. I know you want to. Lower your head, it's okay. Oh boy. Man, he's just so soft right here. I mean, just my fingertips, I can I can rock his body back and forth just with light fingertip. He's just so relaxed. There he's venting again, shifting his weight. We learned this in the flagging part, but that's part of his, kind of part of what he does before he relaxes all the way into that dopamine. Oh boy. if we're gonna get another licking and chewing out of him. So we're gonna ask him to go around this other side. Cluck means move your feet. Look, I didn't even have to touch him. Go on, clear the fence. Nope, nope, nope. So I'm gonna correct, right, that's pressure. And then he goes where I want. One more step, one more step. There you go. There's our licking and chewing. About got his head right here in my lap. Good boy. You know, and this is a this is a big win if you can be up here above your horse's head like this and have him be just this mellow. Oh, look at him work his mouth. This is there's some tenseness here, but man, he just he's managing himself so nicely. Oh, what's that? Four times licking and chewing. Five times? Four times. Oh 
boy. All right, let's go the other way. We're just going to get this really in place. Nicely done. And then uh, we're going to we're going to see if we can have a little bit of fun with it. There's licking and chewing again. Look at his head just melts down. Big breath. <laughs> 